Uh, I time to make another video and catch up, catch you all up with what's going on in Arizona and in my life too. Uh, you're not. Oh, here's Ronnie the robot, the karaoke machine over here. Uh, my partner, I I purchased a great many karaoke discs uh, with the idea of therapy for my uh, friend over here. And he he took it as a he took it as a sign that we should have a karaoke party and he should celebrate when we had this karaoke party. That is not the purpose of our singing karaoke, which I had to tell him. I had to throw cold water on his party because <laughs> you he, cold water I'm on my sorry face. to say he was very inebriated. It was, and I said no, you know, because this is not my purpose. Uh, my son, you know, he goes around and sings for his supper and he certainly can't do it drunk because he wouldn't get hired or he wouldn't make any money. So anyway, having taken care of that, I don't know how long it's going to take him to get up and sing in the morning when he's relatively, what shall I say, uh, he's relatively sane and in his right mind. But when yeah. he's on party time, yes, but ooh, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. So then I want to catch you up on Arizona immigration. You know, the governor, our governor Brewer, has gotten a little trouble because she uh, said to a reporter that most of the illegals that come into this state are involved in law breaking, uh, drug carrying drugs, or trying to get into, involved in drugs. And now everybody's saying, oh, you know, this is way off the beam, and she's just made a big boo-boo. Well, this was my point when I made mine of 20 years in a Mexican district neighborhood that everybody breaking the law and gunfire all the time, it, especially around my apartment, was, <laughs> that was what was bothering me so much about illegal immigration. It was, to me, the neighborhood was never going to calm down, never going to get less violent, unless this big flow of immigrants was dealt with stronger. Because it's, it was true that uh, everyone who possibly had any kind of idea was trying to get some of the drug action. Even mamas, even women, even mothers, even mothers with seven kids were going to Mexico to get drugs. So, to sell. So, so is there a point uh, I'm, I'm, uh, my, my sympathies are with the governor. I don't think she, well, I, see, she, she may have exaggerated. Well, it, but no, no, wait a minute. You, you do when you're if you talking say, like if that. If you say most, that is a very nebulous term. Well, I'd say, say it was no, wait a minute. the no, ones listen. that are causing us the problem. If you say 51%, 51% is Well, most. nobody knows. Nobody knows what what percentage. But well, then, what suffice it say? to say Why the governor say and I both think there are enough people involved in illegal drug business in some form or another that we just have a lot of violence, especially in the neighborhoods where the where the illegals are apt to come. So... What do you mean they have to come? Where uh, else can they go? Yeah, well, that's true. And um, so we've, you're gonna move we've got, uh, right of away? course, our paper is uh, liberal. And uh, so they, you know, they keep a good line on the governor since she's Republican and conservative to, you know, to note her mistakes and uh, but I think she sort of told it like it was, and that is what bothers us so much it are the lawbreakers, not the ones that supposedly just come to better their families and so on. And another thing I want to say is when we got a flood of immigrants coming in and, and people try to say, 
yes, but they're, they're starving down there, they're desperate. Well, how many places in the world are people starving and desperate? And how many people of these people can we help? We need to help. And for years, that's been sort of the sentiment uh, that we just let people flow up here from Mexico because it's rough down there. And well, it, get, it becomes a way of life. And Mexico probably counts, has been counting on the United States for years to take this overflow. So the, so the, the citizens who would be ordinarily staying in that country and saying, hey, look, we're here. You've got to help. You've got to accept us. We've got to have it better here in Mexico. They're all going north, so no wonder the Mexican government is happy with this. Instead, if they were staying there, they would be saying, we've got to have things better in our own country. So what is this about being born in one country and saying, well, my destiny is in an up the United States. As soon as I get old enough, I'm gone. So I just say that uh, I don't think it means that people aren't are sympathetic is, to the plight of the are really war. People going to like to hear this again and again. Yes, they do because I I, I know you don't. Before, I know you don't no, want to hear well, it they, again. They've gone through this before. But, but I still feel passionate reason, about it. The reason Why? let them go all come up here because they were cheap labor. Well, cheap labor, yeah. but there's cheap no jobs labor. anymore. Uh, the jobs are gone. Everything's robotic. They get big machines out there instead of having these guys picking up onion pickers. Well, they they're still have. They're so still migrants. So they're what still can you bring up here workers. to sell? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there's still jobs, and if well, there sorry, are sorry. those jobs, this is what we have to sort out when we deal with the immigration hey, if you're problem. Dealing drugs, that's is a job, how right? is how to uh, to to help the employers that need. Uh, these workers do it legally but it just gradually got more and more illegal everybody's illegal the employers are illegal uh, people, employers and we just got a great big illegal problem oh so, god it's children's is illegal <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, well maybe we're all illegal on this earth <laughs> but, but anyway you know I just, I just didn't want I don't want to be uh, I and when people act like that I'm just a selfish, that's not so. I wouldn't have lived 20 years in a Mexican neighborhood if if I didn't like minorities and I didn't sympathize with their plight. I see that's, that's why, not that's why you got the same my, and the months. My uh, yes, my my uh, daughter in law is Mexican. My grandson is Mexican. You know, it it's it's just trying, but that neighborhood was not safe to live in. And still is. That's what, yeah, it is. Oh, oh, I'm sure it's worse now because there's more drug, drug uh, running. More, and then we, in the United States, need to do something about our drug taking, our addiction to drugs, illegal drugs. So. Okay, time's up. That's my take today. All right. Can I have a drink now? <laughs>